Hey, what's going on you guys? Vegan Zombie back with another video. Basically, what we're doing today is we're going to look for the exotic catalyst for the Outbreak Perfected. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the like button also. Smash that for me. Show me how much you enjoy the videos and make sure you click that bell so you can stay up to date with the videos that I release over a period of time. So basically what we're going to do today is we're going to load up the Zero Hour Heroic and I'm going to walk you guys through it because I know it's pretty hard. Um, the jumping puzzles and everything are way different than the original Zero Hour mission and um, you can't just power through this and keep doing it over and over and over again until you get the catalyst. It doesn't work like that. I try. It does not work. You have to do it once a week, I'm assuming. And um, once a week is just like how it is for the um, whisper, whisper, whatever. I, I don't know. I, my mind is gone. I don't remember the name of it. It's the whisper of the worm or whatever. But um, yeah, basically what you do is run through this as such. Uh, it's going really fast right now, I know. Um, but just the beginning of it is pretty much the exact same as the um the initial one so basically what you want to do is just go on through this go through and make sure you just, you kill all the enemies as quickly as you can do everything you need to do as quickly as possible and then once you get into the jumping puzzle area that's the part where i kind of got to give a little bit of guidance if you know what i mean but basically what we're gonna do is y'all y'all gonna be able to see this and it ain't gonna be going as fast so it this is definitely a quicker video than the other one uh this one does not take as much time to get to so you can do it um uh, it's probably gonna be hard your first like couple times but um once you get the hang of it it's so easy because you already know exactly what to do you know exactly where to run to everything just seems so uh, fluid i guess everything just seems fluid so what you want to do is drop down and go to the area where you see the red um is drop back or back drop or whatever so you want to hit all of the switches that's underneath the passageway once you hit every single switch it, the last one is the one where you could jump up to the top and meet with your teammates and stuff. So go ahead and do that. As you see, I did it by myself because the guys that I was, I was playing with didn't really want to do that, I guess. I don't know. Usually it's like two people do that and then the other person goes to wait so that we can push it ahead as quickly as possible. Like there, those platforms, once you jump across, it's usually a harder jump and when you jump across you activate that switch at the end and then it'll bring out the little passageways for everybody to jump on so here you just jump across like so jump on each one of the little ledges that's sticking out jump on the pipe moving up jump on this that thing falls when you jump on it so make sure that you stay ready for that you jump around land here I will wait for this ledge to pop up and then run on it immediately there and then jump across like so and jump up here like that and get into this little area up here once you get here you jump down jump all the way down try not to hit the wall as hard as possible and die and we're just gonna keep moving keep moving hit this little area right here right here and then we're in the fan area so do it the same way <laughs> sorry that was a fail but do it the same way i told you guys uh in the first video so you just jump down jump off right here and keep landing on the middle area it's easier that way and uh i fail again i'm <laughs> oh man we're having we're having a good time with this but um yeah just just jump down jump jump Jump. Damn. Jump and just keep moving. You see these these are out because my teammate already got to the end. So once you get all the way to the end and you jump in there, it brings those little ledges out. <clears throat> so you just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. 
jump down here and that little computer screen where it shows like the one switch that you have to get basically with how it's set up now is it's four switches in total it's the one that i had showed you guys about the one down that passageway on my right and is one on each so it's two on the right side and two on the left side both on passageways and you have to hit every single switch for the exit door to open up so it was a little it's a little harder than it usually well not harder but longer process and then you get to this area and you jump up and once you jump i mean not jump up but once you get up there if this could go any faster but once you get all the way to the top of this jump down here like the original one and you go in this little freaking vent again like the original one you jump down here how this opens you literally run to it in whole square but i died here because i did not know about the passageway so you take this specific passage you can pause the video as many times as you please and get the passageway down pretty sure a lot of you guys have probably did this by now because it was released yesterday and i didn't release the last video till yesterday and i'm releasing this one today so and then we get to the boss fight here so we're just gonna switch out equipment and we're gonna take this boss down so basically uh what you want to use is a gun with um you you want to make sure you put on your best best gear because as i told you with the last one that was hard this one is even harder you get your health goes down wait you get fucking like look at that rapage like i got rape so just make sure that you just stay cautious don't go in here thinking you're gonna just do whatever the hell you please a lot of people should use either arrow or golden gun it's really good but uh yeah let's go ahead and just get through this if you have a yoken that's Probably one of the best fucking things to use in this situation. But definitely, definitely make sure you got on your most powerful weapon. Don't go in here. Don't go in here on that bullshit, man. Don't do that. Don't go in here on that bullshit. So let's go ahead and go ahead and get this all set up for you. Let's go ahead and kill these two walker tanks so we're gonna take this nigga out of the game. You know what I mean? We taking them out the game. That shit happening today. Let's go. So basically what we doing is we, we just gonna melt this guy real quick. We're gonna show him who the hell boss. We're gonna show him who the boss. Let's get it. So basically what <laughs> So basically what we gonna keep doing is we're gonna just keep melting this nigga. And we're gonna let this nigga know what's up. He don't know nothing about this Yoden. That shit was before his time, man. I mean, after his time, man. That was before his time. Black Army was before. But as you see, we get the catalyst here. And we also get the SIVA stuff. So basically what I'm going to do is show you guys the little catalyst. And what you have to do is get precision final blows and SIVA particul particulates or whatever. So you get 20. I got 20% from that one. So every week when you do it, you'll get another 20%. So we're going to have to do four more weeks of this, and we'll be able to get the catalyst. And once I get the catalyst, it's game time, man. It's definitely game time. We're going out here and we're wrecking everybody in the crucible. But um, as always, you guys, comment, rate, subscribe. Once again, a comment, like, and hit the notification bell. i have more videos for you guys later. All right, peace.